Welcome back everyone to my YouTube channel. I'm Devin McDonald, this is DM Woodworks. Today we're gonna to be building the Queen Ant Pro CNC from Yu Yong Industries. So let's get to the build. So your first step, you're gonna need the M4 14 mil uh, cap head screws and the uh, M4 slide T-nuts two linear rails and four H, uh, H15B linear blocks, your uh, linear guides, a three mil uh, Allen key head, and I got this one just to line it up in the, the V groove there. So on the linear rails, there's 25 holes. 25 slide T-nuts in each top and bottom. When you get the linear rails out, just make sure you have a microfiber cloth Give them a little white down because sometimes they have steel from when they're in the manufacturer there. So just give them a quick white down. Inside the grooves there. Set that in there. Just flush up these ends here and then we'll just line up the T-nuts. Just take your linear rail, set it right over top. Just put this through here. Make sure these are all lined up. Started. Once you have all the uh, the M4 nuts started on the linear rail, you want to take your uh, guide linear guide snap rings, and they'll just snap on. That. Put one on the end, one in the middle, and one on the other. Make sure you have them on the right orientation. Then you just work your way down, just snug it up there. Tighten that up. Push right here in the middle. Tighten that up. Put the end. Tighten that up. And then work your way down. I'm not gonna bore you with tightening all this. And then you will repeat the same thing on this side 
with it as you did on this one. So once you've finished getting the linear rails all nice and snug there, you're going to want to throw your uh, linear blocks on. So they come with a guide. your grease nipple there and you I, I like putting them out so you just take the guide there you just slide her on and there you go um, then you repeat the steps for the other y-axis and uh, I'm not going to show you that because it's a whole lot of the same thing so repeat the same steps and then we'll carry on with step two. So now that we have both Y linear rails uh, gantries done, we're going to be doing the gantry plates here. What you'll need is your low profile M5 by 15 mil screws. You'll need M432 mil cap head screws, round head screws M5 uh, 14 mil. You'll we'll need two ball uh, screw housing. You'll need eight spacers and uh, we'll get go on uh, one of your ball screws here. Pull her out of the top in here. Housing blocks. There's the six mount screws there. You want to use uh, your low profile M6 by 15 mil screws to mount these on. Side where these uh, where your XC beam attaches, so it's in the right orientation when you go to put it on. So you we use a uh, round head M514 mil. Take our uh, M432 mil uh, cap head screws. We're gonna got, we want to line it up. And put them in these spaces here. That one started. So once you're done getting your uh, Y gantry plate on, you want to do the same thing with your other Y gantry plate. I'm not going to show you that just because it's the same thing over and over again, but uh, we'll get to the next step after I get that one on. So now that we have both the Y uh, beams done, we're going to install these um, L brackets along the bottom side of the, the Y beams. So I believe it's 12 per beam on each side. Um, so you just divide it up evenly by six, and uh, you'll be using your low profile screws M5, 8 mil, and T-nuts M5. 
So let's uh, get to doing that. So 1500 mil divided by six is uh, 250. So you wanna make a mark 250. I'm using black permanent marker on black. Hopefully it's gonna work out all right. So you have one at 250, 500, 750, 1000, 1250, and then you're on NP. I'm gonna take 12 or 24 of these T nuts here, 12 in the top and 12 in the bottom. So I'll quickly throw those in there. Now you got your T nuts in there, just slide them to where you need them to be. Grab the double L brackets. You'll notice that these ones are further away from the outside or the inside edge than these ones. You want the ones that are further from the edge on the bottom or mounted to the Y plate. So there are M5 screws here. So after you get that done on your first Y beam, you want to do it to your second one. So I'm not going to show you that, but we'll carry on in the next step. I forgot to mention, so take the one where your mark is, square it up with your mark, and it's hard to hear it. And then same with your other Y axis, and we'll get on to the next step. X axis is the same, same deal with the linear rails. You do the top and the bottom, put all your T-nuts in. So I'm just going to quickly uh, zoom through this and we'll get to the next step. So we have the X uh, beam all assembled here with the linear rails. Now we're going to beefing up the back here. The back of the support with the 2040 uh, V-slot. What you're going to need is uh, black angle connectors, your low profile screws, uh, M5, M5 8 mil and M5 T nuts. Uh, you want to divide this up into six equal parts for the 1500. So we want to grab our T-nuts here. We want seven in the top rail here. Grab our angle connectors. The ones here on the end are going to be going flush with the end piece. These ones get mounted into the Y gantry plates. And we're going to insert five peanuts into this top. And there's a 2040 here in the top. nuts to where our marks are. We're also going to flip it over and put five as well in the bottom. We're going to throw seven more in the bottom of the 
DLC being here. We have another black angle piece here. Our M5 T nut or M5 bolt. I'm gonna throw it in this bottom one here. We're just gonna fix all these black angles here at all these locations that we marked out. The uh, M5, uh, M5 8 mil nuts here. We need that for all of these. So now that you got all the angle pieces put on, you wanna flip it over to the top side. You wanna put two T nuts on each side of the top here and add angle brackets up here as well. So now that we got these corner brackets on here, let's flip this over. We can throw on our, our uh, linear blocks here. Grab our four spacers, throw them on our linear blocks. So after you get the X plate done, you want to get your Y, uh, y uh, beams laid out like this. If you don't have anybody to help you, it's late, so I have my wife's sleeping, so she can't really help me. Um, get something to support this side. You want to stick the ball bear, or the ball screw through on this side, and you're going to be using uh, M520 mil um, low profile screws to mount the C beam to the, the Y beam there. So once you get your Y plates all anchored to your X beam there, go ahead and loosen these off, your uh, linear plates here, just to square up your uh, Z axis plate there. And then once you get it all square front to back, then tighten her back up. So I'm gonna make this a two part video. Uh, I don't want it to be too long. So we'll resume with part two in the next video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.